Get in for the G-Mod. I cop me a Glock Chevy. Two door 1978. 24s, Lambo Dose. 18 years old, I was straight. Research me if you think I'm lying. Jolly at that 815. 358 North Broadway, Evergreen. Hey, like and subscribe. My daddy's doing his best. Don't call. Yo, y'all, what's going on? Big boy, stunning the time. Back at y'all with another video. Same video, I mean. But, uh, yeah, sure. I had to stop for a minute because I had to run and get, uh, the right rotors, man. These rotors, as I'm gonna show y'all one more. Well, I already ain't gotta show you guys one more. I'm gonna explain something to y'all. I might as well since we, I, I'm in front of me. Now, this is how this works. See? Sh shout out to my boy, matter of fact, at uh at the auto parts store, man. He always showed me love, super discount, man. I wish I would have just kind of thought about it or waited, but I wanted to just try something online because I was actually being lazy. So I decided to order them online, which was a bad mistake because I got the wrong size. Now, this is how this works, y'all. As you guys can see these rotors, you can see the major big difference. Now they got the same hookup, same holes, everything fit, but this is a bigger rotor. So what I learned today is with the LT, uh, with the LT Chevy's uh, Malibu's, which this is, what I'm putting these shoes on, I mean, these rotors and brake shoes back on here. Uh, this is the LT uh, model. So the LT models, they say, have two different size rotors. So just be careful when you guys order your rotors because you can end up with a bigger rotor that don't fit your car. And uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of headache uh, to deal with it, to take it back and all that. Too. So just to give y'all heads up, make sure you just actually to me personally, you don't gotta order online or unless you know your size, but you gotta make sure that the, actually on the order, it got, hold on y'all, I'm getting confused. Actually, when you order these, and if you wanna go online and do it, just know the LTs are, uh, have two different size, size rotors. A regular um, uh, LTZ, I think has one size rotor that fits all type stuff. And probably one more other model, I just can't think of now, but with the Malibu, so just, Heads up for people that want to do them they sell like I decided to do it. Um, um, you can end up with the wrong rotors if you order them, so be careful. But uh, like I was saying, man, shout out to my friend, man. My homie, he always hooked me up, man, took care of me. Uh, he always give me uh, nice deals because uh, I go in there, man. I'm always doing something with some damn car parts and something. So now I got the new rotor. Let me begin this process of putting it all back together on this side. Then we're going to go to the other side. And I actually would have been done, y'all, if I would have been stopping doing other things that I had to take care of. So, whatever. We're going to get this knocked out here. So. so, the old rudder. And I'm going to tell people how they know their rudders are old because your, no your rudders make noises. They hum. They roar. When you start rolling the car and get a southern miles per hour, it start roar, making that noise. That's when you know you need rudders. And I advise a lot of people that's Got that problem now, just change your rotors and possibly change your brake pads, but I really didn't have to change my brake pads because I just changed these y'all about a month ago and uh, it did pretty good on them. They didn't tear them up, so they all even. So as I put the new rotor on, but you can see like it, it kind of gave it a little, um, little, little grooves, but as it goes, but as I drive and put miles on it, it'll smooth itself back down eventually, so. And I'm about to actually uh, get on the highway and go out of town, y'all, because uh, I'm on my way to the Stunner Reese uh, uh, car show for Father's Day weekend, y'all, uh, with the kids or with my little son and stuff like that. So we're going to go down there and have a ball. So I want to make sure I'm on the highway proper, you know, change these two tires actually that I'm dealing with now. So I'm get done. If I got enough time, I'll run to the tire shop today or tomorrow and uh, get this tire changed. Put better tread on it you know then do the front one tread on it and uh we ready to roll y'all meanwhile let's put this thing back together but yeah y'all it's not it's really not nothing hard to put this stuff back together to do this you know so i don't think it's a it's a hard job y'all because it's really not Yeah, the new rotor actually looks great, y'all, because the other one was terrible. See, this gotta be able to fit in back inside this plate that's around here, y'all. This is a plate that goes around. 
and this rotor must go back inside the plate. So let's let y'all know. I do know how to do brake work, y'all. I grew up doing cars, old schools and stuff like that. Some of the new cars I can kind of really get out on them too. Like my Fendi, I can get out on that too, but I just prefer the Fendi dealership to do the work to it or something like that, or somebody that's certified on uh, foreign cars. If you're not certified on foreign cars and stuff like that, then I don't go to you. the bracket back on to it y'all before you put your brake pads back on and i'm gonna put a little uh i'm gonna put a little uh little brake noise behind the pads because you know you know what you're supposed to do this when you uh, you know what you're supposed to do this when you uh when you're changing this because uh it makes the pad actually, uh, takes the noise off the pad, y'all, basically. Hold on, y'all, let me get a towel. Cause see, one thing about it too, y'all, when you putting these rotors on, try to keep it clean as possible, like, no grease on it. I kind of fucked up a little bit. What happened is, it don't give it that really stopping, or you'll have smells. You know, so. I was kind of low. Yeah, so you know, you clean it off a little bit. Technically, it's supposed to be clean, but as the brakes drive and roll and all this, it'll actually, you know, clean itself. It'll actually, you know, wear off eventually. So let's put this thing back on here. Yeah. So I wiped it off. Now the screw, you remember the screw goes back into this. This is what holds the rotor on, so put that back on mandatory. It's a little tricky trying to line it up, but you will find it. So, I started one boat, y'all. Boat two, bottom. So, 
Um, I say you don't have to put a whole bunch of pressure on these. This is actually, this is actually on there. Y'all my tired ass put the uh brake pads on. Y'all tell everybody just put a little bit on the back. first get them you want to put this on here. So now here's my spring. I'm a little distant by what it is. you guys if y'all just did what i did tighten it back up trust me just tighten it back up for safety so oh, there we go all right y'all here we go we'll put the screws back in the stand then i go on to the other side get started yeah y'all just had to get back to the grind to the youtube for a minute here I know I'm still around, I'm still motivated. Um, unfortunately, you know, I lost my partners. You know, that's sad the hell out of me. Because, uh, man, we was getting ready, y'all. We was getting ready for this, uh, you know, we was getting ready for the show, y'all. We finna uh, have a great time. We just gonna have a great time, you know, so. I kind of threw a uh, major, major roadblock. I'm gonna try to keep going, y'all, because uh, we came too far, man. And, uh, I want my guys and my people to be proud of me and heavy, man. And what I'm trying to accomplish, what I'm not trying to do with my life to better it in my situation, you know. And to keep the passion going on, man, because these dudes love the cars too, man. And shout out to them, man, because I was motivating them too. 
They was getting ready to do all type of different things with cars. Man, it was just gonna be fun, y'all. So fun. For my people, man, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna shine for my boys all in heaven. You know, so it's all good, y'all. You know, I said you can get those sockets that give you that one little slip. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, this is the one that I have actually that I'm using on. So it's kind of crazy that it's a uh, slip, but. Uh, There we have it, y'all. Router, brake pads, brand new, brand new routers. We got brand new routers in the front, got brand new brake shoes in the front. I don't think you need two tires on the right side. This one right here is kind of dry right now, so once I get done, I'll put it back on here. But once I get done, I'm going to the tire shop. Meanwhile, y'all, I would let y'all stick around while I do both brake pad, brake both sides, but it doesn't matter. Um, uh, it doesn't matter, y'all. I'm going to the other side anyway, so this was a short video of that. Might have been a longer video due to all the little stuff I just had to go to. But if I'd had the right rotors, I'd have been done with this job and been on to the next one. But yeah, like I said, y'all, you see how the rotor fits directly in there? You can see how it spins. That's what you need to do, guys. You need to do this, guys. ASAP. So. Then come back through and wipe the grease, the oil and stuff off. But you might get a little smell. You may get a little smell sometime or a little something from uh, the brakes and the rotors. It's actually brand new, so it's got to kick in. Meaning, like, put some miles on them smooth them out because they sound a little, a little whatever but once the caliber is starting back to working properly and all that you don't have no problem your brake shoes are pretty good on here got a lot of nice lifetime to them so you don't need to be changed no time soon y'all meanwhile y'all like share subscribe to the video big boy stunt entertainment let me get this tire on guys and get my weight to the other side because i'm kind of like killing for time right now i appreciate y'all tuning in Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully y'all learned something. Learned, uh, learned how to do this. Uh, you know, believe in that you can do it. And uh, y'all make sure y'all definitely keep rocking with my channel and subscribing to me. Y'all, my Instagram is down, y'all, man. Like, I haven't even been monitoring it, even posting um, pictures and stuff like that. But I will get back to it, y'all. So y'all bear with me on that. And also y'all help me get those followers up if anybody that's got a bigger platform than I got right now. Somebody share my work and I truly appreciate it, man. And uh, hopefully one day we all can get together and network, y'all, and have a great life, you know, with this car culture and this car game because uh, I'm not going to stop, y'all. And y'all stick around. I think I got a new surprise coming to the channel. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I can let you guys know. Meanwhile, like, share, subscribe, guys. Comment, like, watch the whole video, the full videos, y'all. Appreciate it. I'm gone. My baby out here with his daddy. We grinding, and we grinding. Hey, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.